All right, Jayashree, has anybody told you you've been doing a wonderful job? Are these girls doing a wonderful job or what? Both Chandni and Jayashree, thank you so much, Chandni. I know you didn't want to leave the stage at all. She's sending me texts. Can I please go back and say something more? Apna time aayega. All right, the moment that we've been waiting for, we're moving on to the second edition of the Grant Thornton Social and Business Enterprise Responsible Awards. Um, very, very grateful for Graham Thornton to being the wind beneath the wings of Sabera. Can we hear it out loud for GT? For believing that India is really vibrant and it's really made up of these beautiful stories of you and I that celebrate the goodness of humanity. That's what India is all about. That's what Bharat is all about. All right, um, we had a very extensive process, of course. There was a two-tier process through which we invited entries from across, the uh, across India, from north, south, east, west, wherever we could reach, wherever our voices could reach. And um, uh, there was an online scoring which happened, which shortlisted the entries in each particular category. And then the final jury meet that happened at the Aero City office in Grand Thornton. And uh, there were two uh, uh, trophies given in each category, specifically uh, depending on what the top line of the organization or the corporate is above 5 CR and below 5 CR. The reason was that we did not want to alienate the smaller organizations and we wanted them to participate irrespective of the fee. So the fee, the entry fee was extremely subsidized for under 5 CR um, uh, companies. Um, also, there are some categories where the jury decided against giving away any particular award to set the benchmark for future editions of Sabera. At the same time, there were some categories where multiple uh, acknowledgements have happened. There are special mentions of the jury because while that particular entry may not have made the mark for the trophy, but it's been doing considerable amount of good work and hence uh, got acknowledged. And before we set the ball rolling, Jeshri, what do you say? Let's look at some, uh, you know, the glimpses of what really happened through the physical jury meet. Uh, could we have the intro AV, please?
difficult to choose. Uh, but, you know, the purpose of a jury is to do its best, to select the best of the best. And I think that's what we have done. We also hope that this award and these, these awards and this recognition will inspire others to uh, not just do the great work that they're doing, but also come forth and share their stories because nothing like a story to motivate and inspire. Thank you so much, uh, all the jury members, of course. Yes, you can, uh, you know, give out a loud round of applause. Don't hold that back. I'd also like to mention here the conversations that are happening here, the acknowledgments that are happening here today are not contained within the walls of this auditorium. They're going to be broadcast soon on New Delhi Television, NDTV. And as well as uh, the winners are uh, being released on dainikbhaskar.com, the largest uh, red uh, Hindi news daily. So the intent of Sabera is to amplify your voices. And we are doing our bits in associating with large media houses so that your voices are carried across, across the country, across the world to inspire people to, to continue to do work towards the development of humanity, to celebrate the goodness of humanity. The very first category is, you want to share what that is? Yeah, the first up category under initiative is Paryavaran, to be awarded to initiatives which may include but not but are not limited to work in waste management, recycling, water conservation, restoring, water and ecosystems, my, my, mitigating, mitigating impact of climate change, renewable energy, affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy, sustainability promote, promoting sustainable industries, research and innovation for sustainability, etc. Jayashree has actually come down specially from Punjab to be a part of this. She belongs to Bombay, but she is volunteering in a not-for-profit in Punjab, and she did not sleep for two nights to be a part of this uh, particular evening. So if she's fumbling a little bit, please oversee and overlook what she's doing. Thank you. And uh, to do the honors, may I invite on stage Dr. Bibek Debroy. We we'll request you to please come up on stage and to join him. Also, Mr. Rajiv Sharma of Empower Pragati, one of our uh, jury members. And uh, Supriya Paul, if you're in the ha hall, request you to please come up on stage and join these two fine gentlemen. Yes, Supriya Paul is there. In fact, uh, Josh Talks is also one of our partners where they're going to be celebrating a few of uh, the wins here tonight um, through the talk show format that they host. Thank you so much, Supriya. All right. Could we have a look at the AV, please? These are the finalists after the shortlisting of the entries. Up and have a good impact. 
And the second one that we looked at was uh, a project which can address the drought friendly situation which is there in Maharashtra. And we found uh, that this, again, in terms of scalability was great. The impact was absolutely great with the kind of involvement they had with the community and the stakeholders. And I think there were the two key reasons that we kind of selected these communities for the Sabira Red Box this year. Thank you. So you'll hear uh, a lot of the jury bites mentioning that it was very difficult to come to a decision because all the entries were so inspiring. And that's actually personally very encouraging for Sabera itself, considering that this is just the second year. And already we're beginning to make a noise wherein attracting people on ground to send in their work for acknowledgement and appreciation so that we can amplify those voices. Let's find out who the very first trophy goes to. Birla Soft Private Limited, Shodhan. Birla Soft Shodhan addresses the critical issue of air pollution faced by Delhi and CR region caused by crop burning. This initiative pledges zero crop residue burning village in Punjab. The project ensured 95% of the targeted coverage of 16,800 acres with over 12,000 beneficiaries. From the initial two villages, they have grown to 28 villages with the support of CII. 27,000 tons of rice straw was avoided from being burned, while nearly 25,000 tons was recycled back into the soil. All this with reduced sowing, weedicide, and irrigation costs. Very first trophy, can we hear it out loud for Birla Shodhan? All right, we do have one more trophy to be given away in this particular category. Let's find out who that goes to. Ra Foundation's Tribal Initiative works on empowerment of tribal communities in Maharashtra by addressing the critical issues of water scarcity, poor agricultural yield, and employment. The project has impacted 17,000 tribal families to date. This year, 200 women entrepreneurs were facilitated and 25 tribal artisans chosen for work. Can we hear it out loud for Ra Foundation? Request you to come up on stage and receive your trophy. Also to all awardees, as and when you hear your uh, AV being played, request you to please line up here so that we can be a good systematic line of operation, so to speak. And request you to please go up a little bit on towards the edge of the stage. Thank you, Supriya. Thank you, Rajiv. No, request you to stay back. We're going to make you stand like we did last year <laughs> through quite a few of these awards. Moving on to our next category, Jashri. Uh, our next category, category is Siksha. These can include but not limited to affordable primary and secondary education, skill development, inclusive education, technology in CSR, road safety, etc. Could we uh, invite on stage uh, Mr. Kamal Singh and Geeta Goyal to do the honors for this particular category? And while they join us on stage, let's find out who the finalists are.
nations, the divine in the education categories, but I just wanted to mention that Shiksha and Swasthya Kalyan are two categories that we received phenomenal amount of entries. It is also reflective of the kind of work which is happening on ground, but I wish categories like sports or Krishi and Grameen Vikas should also see that kind of enthusiasm on ground. Um, and I resonate the thoughts that Dr. Rajinder Singh earlier mentioned through his speech uh, as far as going back to our ancient Indian wisdom is concerned. Uh, let's find out who the winner is. Congratulations, Castrol India's Sarthi Mitra product, working with education of truck drivers. Castrol India was, of course, above 5 CR mark. Let's find, where are you going, Mr. Singh? We still want you on stage. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, there are quite a few in this particular category. Let's find out who the under 5 CR winner Sir, is. Samarpan Foundation, can we hear it out loud for the wonderful work that you are doing? And request all trophy givers to please come up slightly in front. I've been told the lights are not enough at the back and NDTV crew is not happy with that. There is also a special mention that the jury decided to give in this particular category. Let's find out who that goes to. Sports for Chain, Sports Village Foundation, a special jury mention. We'll get to know a little bit about this foundation a little later in the evening without letting the cat out of the bag. Can we offer them their Special mention by the jury, please, and request Sports Village Foundation representatives to please come up on stage.
Besides the special mention, there are also two certificates to be given away. Let's find out who those certificates go to. Extra Marks Education Foundation for their project Pehel request you to please come up on stage and offer and accept this offering from the jury of Sabera GT Sabera 2019. No, we're not going to give you both the certificates. Don't be so greedy. Next year round, you'll get the second one. Let's find out who the next certificate winner is. Birla Soft, one more time. Tanu, under your leadership, Birla Soft's doing some good stuff. Can we make some noise, please? No music. Thank you, Geeta. Thank you, Mr. Singh. Now you may go down the stage. We request Dr. Dave Roy to keep staying here and to join him on stage to do the honors for the next subcategory, which is that of enablement. Um, I'd request um, Mr. Jagdish Mitra of Tech Mahindra and uh, Rekha Pillay of uh, Castrol, as well as Mr. Richard Reiki. KPMG to please come up on stage and do the honors while Jayashri tells us about what the Sashakti Karan category is all about. Mm, these can include but not limited to human rights, livelihood, inclusive world, community development, disaster relief, um, employment creation, entrepreneurship development, job creation, heritage conservation, women empowerment, rehabilitation, upgrading slum settlements and infrastructure, supporting communities affected by conflict or climate-related disasters, etc. All right, let's find out who the very first trophy goes to in this particular category. Disabled children are truly special and it is the responsibility of every person in the society to make them feel not special but normal. And by calling them special children, we are calling them out. And here is this NGO that is doing such phenomenal work in not letting the dilemma of the disabled children or people feel that they are disabled. Whether, and that impact of disability can be felt at several levels. First of all, it's the person's own self-confidence, you know, that gets completely shattered because you know you're not like other people. And then comes the stigma of society. Followed with that is the fact of employment or work. And so the impact is at several Make such people normal, make them feel 
that they are not special, they are like you and me, there is nothing different about them. Working at several levels, you know, their individual self-confidence, their employability, their joy, their happiness, you know, I mean, it's a delight to see, you know, the work that is being done in this space. Kudos to this team. And let's find out who that team is. Youth for Jobs Foundation, skilling the PWD workforce. Youth for Jobs is the largest organization in India which focuses on skilling and placing youth with disabilities in jobs. The work has reached out to over 275,000 rural households with the message of ability is disability. Youth for Jobs works. Can we hear it out loud for Youth for Jobs Foundation? <laughs> Enabling the differently abled and encouraging them to be in mainstream through their livelihood. Congratulations, keep doing the good work that you're doing. We also have a jury special mention here of a very, very small society in a small part of this particular city. Let's find out what they're doing. Could we have the AB, please? Noida Deaf Society, empowering the deaf. Noida Deaf Society intervenes through its customized trainings and employment. Congratulations, Ruma Noida Deaf Society, doing a phenomenal job of empowering citizens who can't speak or hear. Noida Deaf Society requested to please come up on stage and accept the trophy. And this is how the people who are mute or can't hear clap and acknowledge. We'd also have a certificate to be given away in this particular category. Let's find out who that goes to. Swami Sivananda Memorial Institute of Fine Arts and Crafts, empowering women to fight malnutrition. Culinary kitchens are set up right in the middle of the Bhopal Youth locality, providing a maximum impact with 100% transparency. A women's empowerment program for children and women's welfare through which husbands who speak five Amir Wali. That's a special mention by the jury and not really a certificate. And the Anganwari workers and I think a couple of the ladies who work in these health kitchens are here to accept this. SSMI doing phenomenal work in health and nutrition for women and children. We have one certificate left in this particular category. Let's find out who that goes to. It's Sanat's birthday here today, so his mistakes are also forgiven. 
certificate to Punk Wings of Destiny Trust for Retailers and Retail Associates of India. Incidentally, Mr. B.S. Nagesh, who's the mentor behind Trust for Retailers, was acknowledged as a change maker on Sabera 2018. Congratulations, keep doing the good work. Thank you, Jagdish, thank you, Rekha, and thank you, Richard, for doing the honors. For our next subcategory, which is health and well-being, and Jayashree will tell us what that is all about. These can include, but not limited to, immunization, immunization drive, providing affordable medicine, prevention, treatment, and education of diseases like AIDS, TB, malaria, etc., sexual and reproductive, healthcare, nutrition program, supporting R&D for vaccine, safe drinking water, sanita sanitation, hygiene, etc. And I just want to mention at this point in time, the beneficiary of uh, Kranti, the NGO where uh, Jayashree, my co-host, is from, gives shelter to about 20 girls from the Kamathipura infamous district of Bombay, providing them world-class education. A lot of them are 100% scholarship holders in universities like Ashoka University, um, and also internationally, I think you girls have yes. traveled. Where all have you gone, Jeshri? US, UK, Europe, and Dubai. Wow, hats off to this very small <laughs> Kranti Foundation, working for the children, the daughters of sex workers, in Mumbai and giving them world-class education. I understand that it takes a lot of effort to do what she's doing, so it's amazing and I'm really grateful that Jayashree, you can stand here next to me and host this show. To do the honors, may I invite on stage uh, Chandru, Anisha and Siddhartha Nigam. Chandru and Anisha, of course, are esteemed jury members for GT Sabera 2019. And Siddhartha Nigam was uh, our moderator for our panel earlier in the evening. Let's find out who the shortlisted winners are here. I was totally impressed by the kind of entries that came in. Uh, we actually, uh, as a jury, found it difficult to figure out who is, uh, who deserves more. You know, uh, in, in the kind of categories that we uh, get, it's very difficult to say is better work done on violence, is better work done on organ donation, is better work done on TB, or cancer, or, you know, uh, leukemia. Thank you. 
Absolutely. Congratulations are in order. Let's find out who the very first trophy winner is in the health and well-being category. Operation Asha, TB counseling of TB. Operation Asha provides health and services to the TB patients in screening for treatment as the largest in India. To help increase the detection rate of TB by 50 to 400 percent through e-counseling, it has helped reach over 75,000 people with drugs susceptible to tests of TB, of which By the sheer number of people that, or TB patients that Operation Asha is reaching out to, it's number one in India, and I think it's number three worldwide. Operation Asha, kudos for the work you're doing and containing the disease which can be contained. This, of course, was the above 5 CR trophy. Let's find out the under 5 CR trophy winner. Who that is? Mohan Foundation receives organ donation. Mohan Foundation stands to ensure that every Indian who is suffering from any stage organ failure be provided with the gift of life to a life-saving organ. Till the date, they have saved up to 4,500 lives. Last year itself, they coordinated 21 organ donations An extremely important field in India, very much neglected of how we don't want to donate our organs even after we're dead. I mean, one body can probably give a lease of life to so many other individuals. Thank you so much, Mohan Foundation, for doing what you're doing. All right, we have a special mention in this particular category. Let's find out who that jury special mention goes to. Genesis Foundation, CHD intervention. Genesis Foundation helps underprivileged children born with congenital heart defects in India. They have saved close to 2,200 children through timely intervention. The success rate in the treatment has been over 98%. In the last year, we Congratulations, Genesis Foundation. I still have to attend your music festival. And we're missing Prema being here. Genesis Foundation on a yearly basis does this musical program where they get bands from across India in Kasoli, and that's quite a treat for the ones inclined towards music, and all the funds raised go towards this. We also have a few certificates to give away. Let's find out who the certificate winners are. All right. 
right? The very first one goes to GSK for their project Subha. Deepa Day, of course, a very, very dear friend. Thank you so much for believing in Sabera from the word go. And keep doing the good work that you're doing in health and nutrition. We have quite a few certificates to be given away in this. Let's find out who the next certificate winner is. Can we hear it out loud for Anugre Drishti Dan? Congratulations, Pratik. Individually, I think you've reached out to quite a few patients across the country and relentlessly you continue to work. Still three more certificates to be given away. It's reflecting the kind of work which is happening in this particular area. Let's find out who the next winner is. Bansi Vidya Memorial Trust certificate winner in the Swasthya and Kalyan Health and Wellbeing category. Monica. All awardees and trophy givers, please come up in front of the stage, towards the edge. Come up front, please. Two more to go in this, but I'd like to mention here that the passion that people bring to the table when they're personally afflicted by uh, you know, uncertainties of life. That's what keeps them going and that's the beauty of the kind of stories that we're acknowledging here today. You'll get to know a little bit about, more about Bansi Vidya Memorial a little later in the evening. The next certificate goes to The PSU Indraprasth Gas Limited for Project Roshni. <laughs> Under the leadership of Amandeep Singh Ji. Thank you. And one last certificate goes to. Let's find out who that winner is. Can we hear it out loud for Sanjeevni? Life beyond cancer. Ruby, I thought I saw you here. Again, a very, very inspiring story that you'll get to know a little bit more about Sanjeevni Life Beyond Cancer. We're moving on to our next subcategory, and that is? It's Khel. This can include, but not limited to, sports promotion, creating facilities, and more. Yes, but, but the fact is that there isn't enough which is happening as far as sports is concerned, and also, like I mentioned, in Krishi and Gramir Vikas, because the entries reflected 
that the amount of work which is being done in this particular area is not enough. In fact, Krishi and Gramin Vikas, the jury chose not to give away any trophy and in sports we're giving away only one trophy. Let's find out who the winner is. Let's find out who that winner is. Sports Village Foundation. Sports for Change Intervention Program uses physical activity and sport to drive change in schools by improving health, learning levels, and empowerment of children and adolescents. The program runs in over 1,300 schools in 250 locations in the country, covering over seven lakh children. This year, 9,000 kids across 150 schools in the state of Congratulations for the wonderful work that you're doing in the field of sports, Sports Village Foundation. Up front, please, slightly more towards the front of the stage. Thank you, thank you so much.